the radio then. Should be live, streaming live on YouTube as well. Facebook is live. Should be good. Should be good. Three people's in there. I've only just let YouTube know about this, but that might be a little bit. And, um, Samantha is here. Thanks for coming on. It's all good stuff. Elaine, how are you doing? Thanks for coming on. So good, should, should be good. This has been a while since I've um, done something like this, so um, nice to talk to you all. You know, on a bit of a um, personal basis. Hi, Mandy. Thanks for coming on. Should be good. Craig is here. Just let everybody know that you know that I am now live and uh, just share it out and whatever you need to do. How you doing? Paranormal Tech on YouTube, thanks for coming on. Lindsay, I I love you. It's a bit short notice your YouTube guys, but you know I'd get I, I like to get it done at once so you both can get a you know, a piece of the pie, if you know what I mean. It's all good stuff. Mandy's on, it's all good stuff. Just we'll get a five ten minutes or so just for just for people to know I'm on and people can jump in. Lady Lacey, how are you doing? Oh, brilliant. Elizabeth's on. Yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. I've got a cup of tea with me. If you can see, living up to the name. Claire Silverside, there you go, there's your shout out. That's for you, Duck, that. How are you, Gaynor? How are you doing, Michelle? How are you doing? Yeah, well, I like a cup of tea. I like to keep it, um, keep it, keep it standard. Bank holiday weekend, do you know what I mean? It's um, it's the um, you know, breaking in the um, the, the bank holiday weekend with a cup of tea. It's all good stuff. So how, how have we all been? Then I've been all right. Have we been watching plenty of paranormal um, teams and streams and doing and things like that? Have we all been? Supporting the the teams, showing them some love, and I've noticed that there's been quite a um, quite a lot of teams out there at the minute. You know, it's um, there's a lot going off out there. Do you know what I mean? You only, I suppose, you only can be watching one at a time. So it's um, yeah. Lindsay's out later. Have a nice time, Lindsay. Enjoy it. There ain't no wrong, man. There ain't tea. There really isn't. So, for for people wondering what the hell's going off in here, um, I've um, acquired an item, an item of uh, interest, and um, here we are. Um, and apparently, there's a story behind this. I like this item that. I'd um, destroyed this guy's life who owned it, uh, you know, and it, it basically told me that like he'd lost his job, wife, and all in the same year, and he, he blames this occurrence on this item in particular. So I thought um, maybe I'd own it, because don't forget guys, you know, I am quite sceptical as well. You know, I'm not um, I'm not a hundred percent believer in the paranormal. I'm quite I, I have got a quite a sceptical head regarding um, the paranormal. So you know, I, I, but like I say, I do, I do have a belief. I believe that you know, but I also have a quite a, a sceptical um, a mindset. You know, so could I, could an item attach such things as this person's claiming? Do you know what I mean? Could it? Could it? Do you know what I mean? That's interesting. That's what we want to find out. So, that's what we're here to do. So, if you join this live stream and you're wondering, well, who's this lad? What's he doing? This is what we're going to have a look at tonight. 
should be interesting should be interesting to know what's in this so we're going to wait two more minutes do you know what I mean it could be it could be I'm, I've been looking forward to getting this and um it's pretty good I mean do you know what I mean don't forget the story told me could be absolute rubbish you know it could be absolute garbage just itself but what I will say is that the the price I paid for this is not I don't think would be worth him tell, showing himself up telling me this kind of story you know, you know, maybe, you know, maybe if if you're ever spending a really expensive amount of money, maybe it might be worth his while to elaborate some kind of story, some kind of. But what I paid for this, I don't think it warrants that kind of, you know, story. You know, you you, you just literally throw it in the bin, you know. But I told him that I'm, you know, I'm a paranormal investigator. I this is what I do, you know, and. Um, and um, just trying to say, guys, yeah, I'm interested. I'm just, I'm just interested to working with it, you know. And he said, yeah, and he just, you know, and I sent it out, and I went to go and pick it up. So it all should be good, you know. I, you know, it'd like, be interesting. I've never owned anything like this before. I am getting the haunted object book. At what seems to be around at a minute. It seems to be. Uh, coming my way ever so slightly. I've I've got I've been buying some antique things, you know, like war medals. I've recently acquired a um, antique crucifix. Um Joel if he's watching or will be watching later, he sent me a um a Saint Michael medal, you know, which is like something which protects you from negative energies and things like that. So all good stuff. All good stuff. You know, it's uh, so we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what we've got. We'll see what set happens. We put that in the story. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what attracts me to these items. The stories behind them. And I'm quite a bit. I'm quite a um, antique. I quite like my antiques as well. Like you know, it's something what will it will never come again. If you know what I mean. It's um. There's something, something to own at a certain time what will probably never, you know, never be used again. And, you know, what if what energies are associated uh, with this, you know. I've not investigated so many new items I've had. I'm, I'm waiting for them to do a little bit of a live stream like this with them. Um, yeah, I will be out investigating again. I've got a... Um, the location where I want to go next is a. It's basically a place where, where where a festival used to be, back in the day, and um, people have said that to have heard like residual sounds of music still playing, like I'm talking like 1920s, you know, early 1900, probably 1800, like a in the summer fair basically they used to help used to have a summer fair in this location. They don't have it now, um, but people have said to have heard like old old time music and um, things like that. And, you know, and, but I mean, that's interesting. I've also got a device which captures um, AVPs, which is like audible voice phenomena, which is sounds you hear with your own ears. Um, that's uh, what I've, you know. That captures that. So it's not like EVPs, which is captured by something electronic. Basically, it's the device I'm using is is a. It's just like a big microphone which amplifies the sound which is currently there. So it might amplify amplify sounds of birds in trees and things like that. But if we can listen to some music coming through, you know, it could be. Um, could be interesting, could be interesting. So if you just joined in, and thank you so much for coming on, really appreciate it. People who've shared these streams and etc. You guys on YouTube can hit that like button as well. And I hope you enjoyed this video, and you can, um, you know, maybe subscribe or leave a like on the page for future.
future content. So I've babbled on enough. I've got my Mr. T screen down, a bit apprehensive about this. So here we go. It doesn't feel the best packed, I'll be honest with you. I was, ex I was expecting some more dramatic packaging, in all honesty, but we this is what we've got, so we'll deal with it. I will warn you now, guys, whenever I use anything sharp, there will be blood. Usually ten times, you know, nine times out of ten is usually the case. I took the rubbish out the other day and I lost a finger doing it, that's not an exaggeration either. Right, here we go. Suspense is killing me. So, we'll, we'll hold it up. And we can hold it, like I say, I'm only working with what I've got here. I'm sat on a very small desk. So, um, we'll work with what, what's got, what, what we've got, you know. I do hope that there's some other packaging inside this and it's not literally just throwing it inside the box. Because that would be disappointing. So. Here we go guys, here we go. Ooh. Oh, it's just only small. Hi Kyle, I love you, alright, don't keep coming at the best bit. So, here we go. I was kind of expecting more packaging to make add to suspense, but adequately uh, packed. Oh, here we go. Here we go, he's here, look, he's here. With his legs wrapped around his head. We thought he was missing an arm and then, but he's not. There we go. There, so what we need to do is we need to find out a name for him, because I, I didn't get quite a, um, I didn't get a name from the guy. Like I say, I was ex exchanging emails with this guy for about 20 minutes, 15 minutes or so. And it's kind of explaining to me all these things, what's happened, etc. And, um, like I said, the price I paid for it is not something that what would warrant that kind of story, you know. You'd you'd literally just throw it in the bin, you know. But there he is. It's a nice little thing. I believe it it is nineteen I don't think there's any um markings on it as such, but I believe it's 1960s, um, 1970s, might be earlier, um, but um, maybe we can find out what his name is tonight. People keep saying it's Pennywise the Clown, I do hope not, I really do hope not, I don't want to be expecting um Seeing him die drain or all like that. Right. Okay, so we'll pop him there. We don't think he needs to have a good look at what's going on here. So will he stand? Can he stand? Is that possible? There we go. You guys can get a little bit more as well. So it'll probably just cut my head out for this, but I'm not too bothered about that. 
So these guys can practically if I move you YouTube guys this way and then you Facebook guys can see. I'll let you will let you know if I see a red balloon floating around. I will uh, I'll, I'll I'll try if I'm still among the living. So what I want to try we'll turn this on first. We will, we will be using the Paratech, uh, so don't all jump on me straight away sending me abuse just yet. Save that for later. Um, save that for when it's finished. So I've got a couple of e EMF meters here. So here we are. So what we'll do, we'll... Uh, is this working? Is it, does the battery die in this one? Yeah, the batteries died in the K2 meter, as per usual, but we, we, we have got more. We've got the tri-field meter, and also, where are we? We've also got the mel meter as well. So what is going to happen here, let's turn this light on a little bit, get a little bit of light on as well, so YouTube guys can go there, that'll do, right then, so if you hopefully can see the dials, etc, and uh, this guy can go here, Okay, so what's going to happen here, we've got the trifill meter, which is set to EMF, electrical magnetic field, so that's there, this is just an EMF meter anyway, it's got the, t the temperature underneath, so that's what will happen if, if any big spike of EMF comes to that mel meter, so it's all interesting, interesting stuff. So, what we will do as well, so basically, you know, just stare at him a little bit, just to see what happens. So, I'd like to know, firstly, if there is any attachment to this item. If, you know, if there's anything at all, we'll, what, you know, I'm trying to make contact with you. Um, is there a child connected to this item? I've also been told that it, it likes to um, move around and it appears from one place to another as well. So that will be that you know we'll see that shortly. Well, well, we'll see that in time, won't we? But we'll, I'll let you know if it has done that. But what I want to see is I want to see if there's any kind of attachment to this item you know apparently it's alleged keyword alleged guys to be haunted so so i don't like to, i don't like to throw the term around it is haunted because it might not be but i am open-minded and um we'll see what happens so we'll just leave him there next to the uh, nail meters keep an eye on the dials See if you know the EMF dial does come, you know, rises a little bit. <laughs> you do it. Just come to say hello because she'll, uh, don't, oh, she don't like this doll. I don't like that doll, do you? Hmm? Hmm? Right. So, 
I would like to know if there is any attachment to this doll, or you know, if your child attached to it. Do you have a name or anything like that you'd like to tell us? And um, what was it you did? What you know? What made you know? What really upset the previous owner? What you know? What did you not like him or? You know, can you tell us anything at all? So while I'm doing this, I will fire up the Paratech. So what I'm doing now, if there is anything listening, is that I would like you to talk to me now, okay? So this device here will be able to pick up any communication what you are willing to talk to me about, okay? Started scan. I think it said Barry first away. The first, the first word that came through was Barry. Then I knocked it off by accident. So, if I can lean that next to my Mr. Menko, Mr. Grumpy. Oh, that's me. That made me jump. So we've got the word interest. So I believe victory. victory is that? Yeah, victory. Do you, do you think it's a victory? What you've done? I believe we had the word Barry come through first, so so is that your name? Is that you know? Did was was you called Barry? Limbo. Are you stuck in some kind of limbo? Are you, are you happy? First, I'd like to ask you: if, Are you happy being attached to this doll? Is this, you know, or would you like to leave? And we'll start calling you. Let's see. Vanish. Okay, you want to vanish from this? You know, this took the doll, this toy, you want to vanish, you want to leave. Will this get you out of the limbo? Adjust. Are you adjusting? Tell me about it. Tell me some experiences if you can. Tell me some things about yourself. <laughs> that absolutely scared me to death. But we're okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put that so I can see it as a bar. Doubt. Doubt. Okay, so what I want to know is that I want them to know, I want to call you Barry because that's the first name we got through. Um, so Barry, um, can you identify what kind of toy you are? Can you, can, you, can you identify any lick? Lick. What are you wanting to... Does that say lick? The dog, the, the dog down here is uh, licking a paws down here. Nine. And it says, well, does that come through? Nine. That's quite interesting. Just as I said that, you know, you might be able to hear the dog on the floor looking at paws. Interesting. So, if there's nothing attached to this doll, what would you say if I went to, if I said I want to um, throw it away? You know, but what would you say if I said I wanted to destroy you? You know, burn Bye. it? Brain, got the word, no, Brian, Brian, okay, is that your, is that your name? Four. We'll try 
um, something off and open it a little bit. So, do you know, are you aware of anything at all what's happening around you at the minute? Jack. Jack? Who's Jack, please? We can work with that. Who's Jack? Is that your name? Record. Record? Have you got a record out? Have you got an, like an LP? Have you got a singing? Do you, uh, do you sing? Are you words? Uh, Are you, um, do you know, are you a, a singing doll, you know, are you built on a, you know, a clown, a living clown, are you, are you, you know, what I, what, if, what I want to know is, A, I want to know if, can you tell me who you are, what you are, and can you tell me what kind of toy you are, or ornament you are, you know. Can you tell me any stories where you've been? Can you tell me how old how old, how old you are? Are you nut that are you nutter? Every time I use this I always seem to get that come through. You nutter. Um I don't know why. I don't know if that's the case for any other people what work what use of this. But every time I seem to use this, I always seem to get the word you nutter come through. Um, example. Can you give us an example of why I'm a nutter? Are you offended me already? You've been out of that box for like 20 minutes and we've started with the insults already. Do you want to insult me again? Rabbit. Yeah, a rabbit. Above. Above. Okay. What I want to know is, I want to know things. I want to know how old you are. I want to know if you, if there is an afterlife where you are. I want to know if there's a a, a child associated with this item. Witch. As a, witch. As a, are you associated with witchcraft? Has your soul, you know, somebody's soul being put inside this this item by a witch? Has somebody been cursed to be forever? Can you tell me more about the witchcraft, please? I'm interested, I'm interested about that. Fifty. Is that how old you are? Fifty? Are you fifty years old? I said, keep, let me know if, it, if the dial moves at all on the EMF meter. Like I said, I'm doing my Aye. best. I'm doing my best for you just on this um, little little desk I've got. So we, we're working with what we've got. I can see the dial, dial is moving, isn't it, on the map meter, ever so slightly, but it is moving. I did, I did catch that wobble then on the dial. Scanning stars. Uh, started scanning. No stop. No stop. Yeah, started stop. Scanning. Scanning stopped. Shut up. Okay, but we did see the um, 
The dye one are quite interesting though. Let's try an EVP, see if we get anything. Okay. So we're recording now. So if there's anybody connected to this clown doll, can you say so now? Is this doll evil? That is crazy. Can you tell me your name, please? Are you the one affecting the trifold meter? Just gonna wind this back to see, uh, but I am seeing them. They're on trifold meter moving, and that's kind of freaking me out a little bit. Can you tell me no, it, it, it's not from the um, the uh, digital recorder because the digital recorder was nowhere near it when it was spiking. I mean, it's next to it now and it's not doing anything. Are you the one affecting the tri build Okay, we'll try that again. Okay, we are seeing the trifill meter move, so this could be potentially picking up your presence. Could you give us a voice, please? Can you tell me how old you are? And can you give us your name? And can you tell me if there is any attachment regarding this doll? Yeah, I'm doing my best, guys, with regarding the space on the table. It's not something I really do a lot of the time, so, so bear with me. If there's something what you've seen, what you really don't like, please say so. Okay, we are seeing the product of me to move, so this could be potentially picking up your presence. Could you give us a voice, please? Tell me how old you are. 
think that is affecting the electric. to what's moving. Earlier on we did get, you know, when I moved the record around here, it was affecting it, but at, at the time that was spiking before, the digital recorder was on the floor. So that's interesting. So that might have provoked something from it. There was definitely an electronic field being emitted from somewhere. I mean, it can't be the phones or anything like that because it's not. If it was the phones, it'd be going wild as it is now. So the phones are safely away from the perimeter of the EMF meter. So it can't really be that. But that is interesting. At least we've got something to talk about. Try this. So we've got the spirit box on now, so listen carefully, it's not the most loudest of things. Something came through then. it would be louder than that but obviously not I've not got the speaker on it but that's a shame. Um let's try something else. Try another one of these mobile design. This is built by the guys at Paranormal Shadows and if you've been watching those guys um, on you, I know they've been doing a lot of investigations and etc et um, at the minute so this is a Solomon so we'll see what happens with this you know so I really appreciate everybody coming on tonight and just watching this little bit unboxing and a little bit of a um, you know, a little bit of a look at the doll. We've got a couple of names. Jack, I think I like the name Jack came through, so we'll quite like that. We're into that. We we'll, might call him Jack. So that is now sweeping, I believe. So this is basically like a spirit box, works in the same manner, 
is the doll looking into your soul. Imagine these guys on YouTube. We're not going to use that because I've no idea how it works. What we will use is we'll go back to the Paratech. I thought it would be a little bit more simpler than that. It looks like you need a degree to use it. Okay, let's go back to the Paratech and let's see what we've got. You can't go wrong with the Paratech. Nice easy device. First word we've got through the Paratech is object. Okay. Object, so are you aware that this is an object? What kind of object is it? Can you tell us please? Upstairs. No, we're not going upstairs. We're not going upstairs. We're not going to deal with that. And that EMF meter is going off ever so slightly. So let's just move the phone out of the way to eradicate it's that. Self. Itself. Um, we're not. No, we're not. We're not. We don't want to take you upstairs. Are you the one affecting this trifill meter here? Because there was no electrical devices near it in the perimeter. Before it went off, um, read. Read. Okay. Um, so that was interesting. Even if it's, <laughs> I think it's trying to tell me it wants to go upstairs because it says walk now on the Paratech. Walk. Or are you telling us that you can walk? Can you show us you can walk? Can you walk? Have you got the ability to walk? Because I've been told before that you can walk. Africa. Africa? There's a spirit of what's in this attached to this doll. Do you originate from Africa? Scientist. Scientists? Okay, can you elaborate on that for me a little bit? Can you tell me what you are? What what doll you are? Yeah. I know you're here. That's great. That's brilliant. I know you're here, but I want to know what you are. Okay. I, why? I want to know why. Why are you said to be haunted? Because to me, you just look like a doll. You just look like a clown doll. But I want to know why somebody's openly... I want to know why somebody's openly told me stories about you. Because the, because the price I paid for you, I don't believe, would warrant stories made up about you. It's not as though you, you was worth a thousand pounds or anything right. like that. You know, just give us something, give us something, give us an idea, you know, of what, what you are, what you're capable of doing. Nice. 
it capable of being nice Are you good spirit? Or uh, are you evil spirit? No, I didn't pay a thousand pounds for it, no. No, we didn't pay a thousand pounds for you, did we? Maybe you could tell me. Telepathy. Maybe you could tell me some how much I paid for you. Can you give us the number how much I paid? Do you know? How old are you? In you know, in years. Idiot. You've called me a nutter tonight, you've called me an idiot. It's not very nice. Uh -oh. What have I said that I'm going to keep you in the box all the time? You're with me. How would that make you feel? Voice. Do you have a voice? Information. You've got a voice and do you want to give information? Okay. We'll, we'll, we'll go with that. Okay. Scanning stop. So you've said voice and information, so let's try something that's going to give you a voice. Okay. Try an EVP now, guys, to see if this does give me a voice. It's promised me a voice, so let's do it. Recording. If you are willing to speak, please can you speak now. I would like to know who is attached to this door. Can you tell me what kind of doll this is? Can you tell me where you originated from? And are you good or are you bad? As in what means of, you know, your actions? What is it that you believe in? Thanks for jumping on the YouTube guys and people on Facebook, appreciate you watching, just having a good glimpse at the doll.
We will be working more with it in the future. So you know, when 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 I'm a little bit more planned and we can really go for it. Tell me where you originated from. And are you good or are you bad? As in what means of, you know, your actions. What's going on? What is it that you believe in? What, what happened then? What the hell happened then? What was that? What happened then? What, what went on? Did one of these go, did one of these go up? Did that bell need to go up? Did we get a spike then on the email meter? I think we did, didn't we? That was crazy. Was that you who's just affected the mail meter? Why did you do it? Are you letting us know that you're around? You know, I have to be like that guy, you know, for it to, I know, and it stopped working. Try for me because that's affecting it. No, it isn't. It's a lot of miles away from it. Why did you do it? Some interesting things with about the, the EMF meters. It's kind of interesting. It's pretty. Maybe he's letting us know, his, you know, whoever's he is. Maybe, maybe we're just getting slow bursts. 
you know, coming through from it. But maybe we're not. Maybe we need to push more to to bring out what is there. I mean, if if the bear in mind, guys, if there is anything there, or maybe we could potentially just be looking at a a, a freaky looking doll. You know, that's all. You know, be end all, and you know that that could be what we're looking at. But it's quite interesting. Um, this has been spiking as well. I mean, I openly admit that the, you know, the digital recorder has affected it when near, but when the, from the, the when it was spiking on its own, the, the digital recorder was on the ground, on the floor, well away from it. This has now spiked and now stopped for some reason. I have no idea why that is. But it had a burst and then it stopped. And it looks like it may be broke. <laughs> okay. So that is not working, I don't know what reason why that has stopped working, but we've still got this going. So it's all good. If you're new here on Facebook and you liked what you've watched, this is this is not normally what I do. If you've just watched this and you thought, oh my god, what the hell is this? Um, this is not, not what my normal standard practice. I usually go out on location and investigate, but I have, you know, got this, so I wanted to show this off tonight, so this is not what I'm all about, I don't sit at home showing off my doll collection or anything like that, that's not what I'm about, it's just that I've acquired this doll and um, I just wanted to see what we could do with it, you know, just make it little, you know, shake things up a little bit, um, but you know, it's been good, but like I say, I am next, when I'm next out investigating, um, I am... It out and I'm investigating where, where a, a, a location of a, of a festival what happened in the early 1900s maybe 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 before then but people are said to have heard like old time music playing from like residual sounds of um, this music so what I've got I've got a device like a really amplified um, microphone which will amplify the sounds around me so we'll get that, um, see, it will pick up any residual sounds. But here also we'll be using the um, digital recorder. We'll be using all that, all the equipment as well, all the good stuff. What you guys like to watch, the spirit box as well, we'll use that. It's all good stuff. Um, so uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Like I say, like. Please leave a like on the video, um, you know, for, uh, and, you know, subscribe if you want to see more of these investigations. Check it out on YouTube and also on Facebook on my page. There's a back catalogue of investigations. There must be around about 100 videos on YouTube. I'm not quite sure what's on Facebook, but there's quite a lot of content. So it might be something for you to binge watch, maybe, um, if you enjoy what I do and things like that. But, um time is it i believe that um other you know other teams and that will be getting underway now so there's no point in me chattering on to myself so um thanks for joining me guys i hope you like this doll we'll be using it more in the future um and uh, we're going to see what we can do with it you know and leave leave your comment leave what you want to call him in the comments we have barry jack and I believe we had another name come through, and uh, um, yeah. So thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate you watching, guys. And uh, and this has been the haunted clown, which apparently wrecks people's lives. So we'll soon see. See you later, guys. Uh -huh.